Hey, this is Sart with the Midgum TG Tech looking at the band list changes. I know it's been a few days since I've done a video. Life has been super crazy. I'll get to that at the end of the video, but I want to jump in here and talk about Magic the Gathering first. We need a healthy environment in every format to make the game fun. But the worst way to get there is usually wielding the ban hammer, destroying people's favorite decks. Sometimes it's got to happen though. In the area of EDH though, what the heck is going on here? I have no idea how this committee comes to their decisions. Yeah, Leovold's awesome. Makes people play fair. Really good commander. Shuts down a lot of cantrip and draw cards. I'm okay with him. He is not ridiculous. But Protean Hulk? Have, have they looked at Protean Hulk? Have they read Protean Hulk? Protean Hulk flash. First turn, I win, crazy combo. It's a force of will check. If there's no force of will, the game just ends. I understand that there's lots of other degraded, terrible things in EDH. When you look at the ban list, it's supposed to show you the type of things we don't want to see. Protean Hulk, Flash, is that what we want to see in the environment? Do we want to see death turn one? No. For people who don't understand how the combo works, take a look at Body Double and Viscera Seer and Revlark, and Mog Fanatic. You basically put the Hulk into play, go get the Body Double and the Seer, sack the Body Double, it's a copy of the Hulk, go get the Revlark, go get Mog Fanatic, sack the Fanatic, bring back the Body Double, make a copy of the Revlark, and have all the damage! This is a crazy, broken combo. Should not be allowed in any format ever. Just out there, nuts. Okay. Maybe Vintage, where you got four Force of Fills and a bunch of power floating around. Not the end of the world. But in Commander, this is not what I want to play against. Unless the rest of the table all has Force of Wills. I mean, this is just crazy bad. Why do they got to take, draw an extra cards, the blue thing, and protect that? But put this terrible combo back into the game. My god. Oh, come on, guys. What are you thinking? Before I get into the other bands, let's look at the statement. Really, really important statement here. As an MTG finance person, and I've got a finance video coming up here soon, this is a sign that we may see a ban. In standard, as we stated in the last banned and restricted announcements, we are still watching the format closely, particularly Combo Cat. Copycat should go. Yeah, it doesn't win all the tournaments, but it warps the format to the point that you can't tap out on turn 4, turn 5, or turn 6 unless you've got awesome removal. It is just silly. Never should have been put into the environment, should be pulled from the environment. It's such a lazy win that it's hurting the entire meta. Sensei's Divining Top. Ooh, there's some people really pissed over this. Look at this short video for a second. Gotta go watch the whole video, feline. Just incredible Viking funeral of Sensei's Divining Top. There's two issues with Sensei's Divining Top. Number one, it slows the game down. And for some reason, Wizards has never played speed chess. We could put chess timers in and fix this problem, but they're never gonna do that. So we have to ban super slow cards. So they're banning it. What is this gonna mean for the entire meta? It means that Delver of Secrets just got better. Your one drop decks, just got better because counterbalance is not going to be around your lion's eye diamonds crazy combo decks just got better and true name nemesis is probably the best ender for a control deck right now i see this guy going up 20 percent if not 200 percent in the next few days there are awesome decks out there that are going to win with control and they need a new way to win and miracles is going to be tough without sensei's divining top but is the real problem Sensei's Divining Top? Yes, when it comes to speed, but when it comes to power, Brainstorm is still legal. Brainstorm is crazy, crazy good. It's a high skill card, but it is super powerful and still a four of, even though it's restricted in Vintage. Let's talk about Vintage and what's going on here. Gataxian Probe, cut down to be a singleton, long overdue for Vintage but it's still a four of in legacy with brainstorm if you want to play one of the most broken formats out there and go to a gp and have a shot at getting on the pro tour 
This is the deck that I would play. Grixis Delver, Gataxian Probes, Brainstorms, Crush Your Opponent, Stop Them From Doing Anything with a Tempo Deck. Not easy to play, but Miracles just got banned out of the environment. Best Tempo Deck out there. Gush. Wizards, what is it with Gush? You love to unban and ban and unban and ban this card. It was broken long ago with Fastbond. It is broken with Mentor. It was broken without Mentor in combo decks. I'm glad to see this go. Incredibly powerful card. This card was banned, unbanned, banned, unbanned, banned. Like, I understand why it's gone. Just leave it banned. Drawing cards for free, not so good. Technically, it's restricted now, which is really what you do with broken cards when it comes to vintage but leave it restricted that's what has to happen to keep the environment safe don't take it off again a little bit of an update about me i've been traveling around a lot and that's part of the reason i haven't got a lot of videos out i do have a laptop that lets me do video editing and i'm going to talk about that in a second but i'm still going to be traveling a lot more i've got pittsburgh san francisco yakima okay yakima i've got a few fans of the channel in yakima if you're in Yakima, please come out, play some games with me. Portland and Vegas all coming up within the next two months. I'm out of town about as much as I am in town. If you want to run into me while I'm out and about, find me on Swarm Sartorus. It's what Foursquare used to be. When I was in DC, I found people on Swarm and hung out with them. When I was in Boston, I chatted with people on Swarm and hung out with them. When I'm in Portland, I find people on Swarm and hang out with them. Some reason, nobody in Seattle uses Swarm. I don't know what it is. It's probably part of the Seattle freeze. But if you want to see me when I'm traveling, get on Swarm, find me. I'll probably be at a local game store at least one or two of the nights there. And when I'm in Vegas, I'm going to be there to play Magic the whole time. Come out and see me. The perfect is the enemy of the good, Voltaire. And that's what's been happening right now with my videos. I went through a bunch of transitions in my life over the last few months. I no longer have a decent camera. I'm working to replace a camera. If you got an extra like ADD, that would be awesome. In all seriousness, I've been shooting some videos while I've been traveling on my phone. I've been working off of my laptop. The quality just hasn't been what I want. And I'm just gonna say, screw it and post stuff and get it out there and get back to posting things. I need to rebuild my studio. I need to make things happen even when I'm traveling. I'm not gonna let the perfect be the enemy of the good and you're gonna see more content on this channel. What type of content would you like to see? Leave it in the comments. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I did redo my Patreon. I've got a new video coming out. If I owe you packs or if I've missed anything in the past, please message me there. I will make it right. I've got some extra older packs. Uh, to hand out to people who've stuck through me through this difficult time. Here's a little bit about the new reward levels. I've got a whole video coming out about that later. And thank you so much to chess.com uh, for supporting me. Now, look at the other videos. Awesome videos. Hope to see you guys out and about. Swarm, find me. Yeah. Until next time, choose the cards wisely.